Uh, here's a question uh, Tom from Hudson wrote in and says, has the church replaced Israel in the affections of God? Well, that is a good question. Uh, this is something that is called replacement theology. And uh, replacement theology is the idea that somehow the church either replaces or supersedes Israel as the people of God. Uh, I don't think that that is the case. I think that uh, there's a number of things that would argue against that. Uh, for example, we know from the book of Acts that the church and Israel continue to remain distinct from each other, with the uh, church being mentioned 19 times and Israel being mentioned 20 times. Uh, we see in 1 Corinthians 10 that the Apostle Paul continues to distinguish between the church and Israel. We see in Romans 9 through 11 that the Apostle Paul taught that God still has a plan for Israel. Yes, God has a plan for the church, but he also has a plan for Israel. And uh, the backdrop, I think, you know, personally, I think that it's rooted in the, uh, the covenants, the Abrahamic covenant and the Davidic covenant that God made with Israel, and they were unconditional covenants. God is a promise keeper, and when God promises Israel something, he is going to fulfill it. Just as the Apostle Paul teaches in Romans 9 to 11 that God has a future for Israel, God is a promise keeper, and he's going to do everything that he has promised to do for Israel. And, uh, you know, that's not in any way to uh, diminish the importance of the church. I, I personally believe that what God did with Israel was to um, – use Israel and, and actually use Gentile salvation as a way of sparking jealousy among the Jewish people so that the Jewish people would now want to become saved. That's something that the Apostle Paul teaches. Hmm. And so God's got a wonderful plan. Right now we're witnessing the unfolding of that plan. Uh, among many other things I could mention to you is that Ezekiel 36 and 37 says that Israel, after a long and worldwide dispersion, would become a nation again. And following Israel becoming a nation again, Jews would stream back to the Holy Land from every nation of the world. Well, guess what? Israel became a nation again in 1948. And since 1948, the Jewish people have been streaming back to the Holy Land from every nation in the world. And that's never happened before in human history. Mm. You know, in, in previous history, Israel had been in bondage, for example, to Babylon. And then once, once that captivity was over after 70 years... Israel streamed back to Israel or back to Jerusalem from Babylon, from one nation. But never before have we had Jewish people streaming back to the Holy Land from all over the world. But that's happening today, just as Ezekiel 36 and 37 uh, prophesied. And interestingly, I might throw in that in Ezekiel 38 and 39, Scripture says that sometime following that, there would be a coalition, a northern coalition that would emerge made up of Iran, Libya, Sudan, all the Stan nations, Afghanistan, Turkmenistan, and all the nations around and near the Black and Caspian Sea, along with Russia, would form a coalition that would one day militarily move against Israel. And one of the things that's got a lot of people talking today is the reality that Russia now has alliances with uh, you know, Turkey, mm -hmm. with Iran, with Libya, and all these other nations that are mentioned in Ezekiel. So it seems like the stage is prophetically being set for some of this stuff. And so, you know, all eyes are on Israel right now. Yeah, yeah. 